Welcome to Texas WIC. Whether you're new to WIC or already a part of the WIC family, these videos will help you find your WIC foods at the store. This series of short videos is divided into clips that show the types of foods that you will get from WIC each month. Shopping can be stressful, but follow these steps to make WIC shopping a little bit easier. Your monthly WIC benefits include foods to keep your growing family healthy. Before you go to the store, look over your WIC shopping list that you got from the WIC office. You'll see how much of each food you and your family will get every month. Bring your WIC shopping list to the store when you shop for your WIC foods. If you don't have a copy of your shopping list, you can get your benefit balance at the grocery store. Just ask a cashier for your WIC balance before you start shopping. They'll tell you when to put your WIC card in the card reader and enter your PIN, like at checkout. You can also download the MyWIC app to view your benefits. But it can take up to three days for your benefit balance to update on the app. Next, make sure you have your WIC shopping guide. Or use the MyWIC app and go to the shopping guide section. You'll need a shopping guide to help you choose the brands and sizes that match your benefits. And of course, you'll need your Texas WIC card to pay for your WIC foods at checkout. With your current shopping list, the WIC shopping guide, or my WIC app, and your Texas WIC card, you're ready to go. Remember these tips as you shop. Pay close attention to package sizes. The size must match your benefits and what is listed in the shopping guide. Not all stores carry the same brands. Your shopping guide tells you if you can choose any brand, specific brands, or brands with a pink WIC sticker. You can also use the MyWIC app at the store to scan items as you shop. The MyWIC app will tell you if an item is WIC approved or not, and if you have benefits for the item. If you accidentally pick up the wrong size or brand, it will not scan as WIC approved at checkout and you won't be able to pay for it with your WIC card. You will have to pay for the item with another form of payment like cash or snap or put it back. When you are done checking out, you will get three receipts or one long receipt that shows your WIC purchases. Your WIC benefits do not roll over from month to month, so make sure you get all of your WIC foods by the end of each month. Shopping for WIC milk can be a little confusing, so follow these three steps. Step number one, check your WIC shopping list to see what kind of milk you can buy and how much. Women and children two to five years old get skim or low-fat milk. One-year-old children get whole milk. Milk is listed by the gallon, but you can get half gallons too. Step number two, check the shopping guide and see that milk is a pink sticker item. Step number three, look for the pink WIC approved item sticker on the shelf. There are pink stickers on different types of milk at the store, but you need to pick the one that matches your WIC shopping list. The most common mistake is when someone grabs milk that has a pink sticker, but it's the wrong type of milk. For example, Whole milk and 1% milk both have pink stickers. If your WIC shopping list says whole milk and you grab 1%, the 1% milk will not scan as WIC approved. WIC can provide other types of milk. Let your WIC staff person know if you need them. Yogurt is on your WIC shopping list in quarts. Usually, you will have a choice between another quart of milk or a quart of yogurt. Women and children two to five years old get non-fat or low-fat yogurt. One-year-old children get whole milk yogurt. When you shop for yogurt, pay close attention to brands. There are certain brands that are WIC approved. Use the shopping guide or the MyWIC app to see which brands are WIC approved. If you're not sure which yogurt is WIC approved, you can scan it with the MyWIC app. 
It will tell you if it's WIC approved and if you have active benefits for it. You've got the right brand, the right fat content. Now, just be sure that it's the right size, 32 ounces or one quart. That's the big tub. Let's recap. Shop for milk by looking for the pink sticker. Shop for yogurt by brand. Match the fat content for milk and yogurt with your WIC shopping list or benefit balance. WIC can provide these other types of milk too. To get one of these milks, just ask your WIC office. WIC staff can put one of these on your WIC shopping list so you can buy it at the store with your WIC card. If you choose soy milk, tofu, or kosher milk, you will shop by brand. Use the shopping guide or the MyWIC app to find out which brands and sizes are WIC approved. If you're shopping for lactose-free, evaporated, or dry powdered milk, check your WIC shopping list first to see which fat content you can get. Women and children two to five years old get fat-free or low-fat milk. One-year-old children get whole milk. For lactose-free, evaporated, or dry powdered milk, you can choose any brand. But make sure you pick the fat content that matches your WIC shopping list so it scans as WIC approved at checkout. Look for these sizes at the store. Some varieties like chocolate flavored or added protein are not WIC approved. If you're not sure which milk is WIC approved, you can scan it with the MyWIC app. If you're shopping for soy or lactose-free milk, this part can be a little tricky. Soy milk and lactose-free milk are on your shopping list in gallons, but you can only buy half-gallon sized containers. Two half-gallons are equal to one gallon. So if you have one and a half gallons left for the month, that means you can get three half-gallon sized containers. Remember, you can only buy these other types of milk if they are on your WIC shopping list. So let the staff at your WIC office know if you are interested. Cheese is on your WIC shopping list in pounds. To find WIC approved cheese, look for the pink WIC sticker. You can choose from blocks of cheese, sliced cheese that is not individually wrapped, or string cheese. WIC approved cheeses come in one pound and two pound packages. The types of cheese that are WIC approved are listed in the shopping guide or on the My WIC app. Not every store will have every type of cheese. These types of cheese are not approved. Eggs are on your wig shopping list in dozen sized cartons. That's 12 eggs. You can choose any brand of eggs. The eggs can be any size, like extra large or jumbo, but they have to be in a carton that holds 12 eggs. Free-range or pastured raised eggs are not WIC approved. Whole grains including bread, tortilla, rice, pasta and oatmeal are on your WIC shopping list in pounds. That means that for each pound you get, you can choose a one pound item, not one pound of each item. If you and your family get two or more pounds of whole grains on your WIC shopping list per month, you can mix and match. For example, if you have two pounds listed, you can get a one pound loaf of bread and a one pound package of rice. 
Some food packages may say one pound and others may say 16 ounces, but don't get confused. One pound equals 16 ounces. If you are shopping for whole wheat bread, look for the Pink Wick approved item sticker. With so many choices, the pink sticker can be hard to spot, so look carefully for it. If you are shopping for oatmeal, you must choose from certain brands. Use the shopping guide or the MyWig app to find the WIC approved brands. If you are shopping for whole wheat pasta, corn tortillas, or whole wheat tortillas, you can choose any brand in a 16 ounce package. And if you are shopping for brown rice, choose any brand of regular rice or instant brown rice in a 14 to 16 ounce package. Cereal is on your WIC shopping list in ounces. You can choose different brands and sizes that add up to the amount on your shopping list. You'll shop for breakfast cereal by brand and size. Use the shopping guide or the MyWIC app to find out which brands and sizes are WIC approved. Sometimes a WIC approved brand is available in a size that is not WIC approved. Make sure you check the brand and size. Let's say your shopping list shows you can get 36 ounces of cereal. You can choose a combination of sizes, like two 18-ounce boxes or three 12-ounce boxes. To get the most of your benefits, try not to choose an 18-ounce box and a 12-ounce box. You will have six ounces left over that you can't use. and vegetables are on your WIC shopping list as a dollar amount. $11 value means that you can buy $11 worth of fruits and vegetables. You can buy fresh, frozen, or canned fruits and vegetables, including organic. Many of the items in the fresh produce department are WIC approved. You can choose from a wide variety of frozen fruits and vegetables. Many cans, jars, and plastic containers of fruits and vegetables are also WIC approved. And you don't have to choose just one kind. You can mix and match and get some fresh, some frozen, and some canned items. There are some items that you cannot buy, like fresh herbs or canned or frozen fruit with added sugar. Check the shopping guide or the MyWIC app for all of the details. Check labels carefully to avoid grabbing an item that is not WIC approved. You can also use a scan feature in the My WIC app to see if something is WIC approved. And if you go over your dollar amount for fruits and vegetables, you can pay the difference with cash, credit, debit, or SNAP benefits. on your shopping list in the size containers you can get and the number of containers you get for the month. When you shop for juice, the first thing you need to do is check what size container is on your shopping list. Women get 48 ounce bottles or 11.5 to 12 ounce frozen containers of juice. Children get 64 ounce bottles or 16 ounce frozen containers of juice. There are many WIC approved juice flavors listed in the shopping guide and the MyWIC app, but not every store will have every flavor. After you check the size on your shopping list, look for the pink WIC approved item sticker in either the bottled juice aisle or the frozen juice section. Your store may have a WIC approved orange juice in the refrigerated area too. Sometimes mistakes happen. Here's an example of one a lot of people make. 
Let's say you have 48 ounce bottles of juice on your shopping list and you grab a 64 ounce bottle by mistake. Even if the 64 ounce juice has a pink wick sticker, it won't scan as wick approved at checkout because the 64 ounce juice is not on your shopping list. So check your shopping list first to see what size container you can get. Then look for the pink sticker. Beans and peanut butter are on your WIC shopping list by the item. For each one item you have on your shopping list, you can choose one package of dry beans or four cans of beans or one jar of peanut butter. If you're shopping for dried beans, choose any brand in a 16-ounce package. You can choose any type of dried bean, pea or lentil. If you're shopping for canned beans, choose any brand in a 15 to 16 ounce can. Remember that four cans of beans count as one item. You can mix and match brands and types of beans, as long as they don't have added ingredients like oil, vegetables, or meat. If you're shopping for peanut butter, choose any brand in a 16 to 18 ounce jar. Make sure the label says peanut butter and not peanut spread. Avoid these kinds of peanut butter. If you're not sure which beans or peanut butter are WIC approved, you can scan it with the My WIC app. It will tell you if it's WIC approved. Infants 6 to 11 months get baby foods from WIC. Baby food fruits and vegetables are on your WIC shopping list in containers. You can buy any brand of baby food fruits and vegetables in containers that are 4 ounces, including organic. You can buy a 2-pack with two 4-ounce containers. It will count as two containers. You cannot buy a two-pack of two two-ounce containers. You can choose single or mixed fruits or vegetables, or fruit mixed with vegetables. The baby foods cannot have anything besides fruits or vegetables in them. Read the label to make sure there are no other ingredients, like oatmeal or rice. Baby cereal is on your WIC shopping list in ounces. You can get these brands of baby cereal in 8 or 16 ounces. Baby cereal cannot have fruit or other added ingredients. Fully breastfeeding infants also get baby food meats. Baby food meats are on your WIC shopping list in containers. These containers have to be 2.5 ounces. You can choose any meat with broth or gravy. Baby food meats cannot have any other ingredients like vegetables or rice. If you're not sure which baby food is WIC approved, you can scan it with the My WIC app. It will tell you if it's WIC approved and if you have active benefits for it. Breastfeeding provides the best nutrition for your baby. Every ounce gives your baby long-lasting health and immunity benefits. WIC also provides breastfeeding support and education. Fully breastfeeding women get the largest food package from WIC. If you're breastfeeding, you get WIC foods until your baby turns one. You also get canned fish in your WIC food package. Canned fish is on your WIC shopping list in ounces. Choose any brand of chunk light tuna, pink salmon, sardines or mackerel in cans or pouches. You can choose different sizes and types of fish 
as long as it adds up to the amount on your Wix shopping list. Tuna and salmon can be in water or oil. Sardines and mackerel can be in water, oil, or sauce. You're ready to check out. In many stores, registers that accept WIC will also have a sign or symbol. You will also pay for your WIC items with your WIC card first. The cashier will tell you when to insert your card into the card reader and enter your PIN. Do not pull the card out until the cashier tells you to. The cashier will show you a receipt with your scanned WIC items. Make sure all the WIC foods you bought are on it. Then hit the Approve button. After you pay for your WIC items with your WIC card, you can pay for your other items with cash, credit, debit, or SNAP. When you are done checking out, you will get three receipts or one long receipt that shows your WIC purchases. The receipts will show your beginning balance, scanned items, and ending balance. Your ending balance receipt will show what you have left for the month. Save it for your next shopping trip so you know what's left on your WIC card. Your benefits on the MyWIC app can take up to three days to update, but the WIC receipt that you get after shopping will be accurate. It's a lot to remember, but WIC shopping gets easier the more you do it. What if the store doesn't have my WIC item? Not all stores will have every WIC food or brand. Your store should have their WIC milk, juice, cheese, and bread labeled with a pink WIC-approved item sticker. If the shelf or section is empty, talk to a store employee. The pink sticker item might be somewhere else, like on display, or they might have more in the back. If the store is sold out of their pink sticker brand, ask for a substitution. What if an item doesn't scan as WIC approved at checkout? Make sure the item is in the correct size and brand. Check the shopping guide or My WIC app. Check your WIC shopping list or benefit balance to make sure you have benefits for the item on your card. If the size and brand are correct and you have the benefits for the item, Ask the cashier or store manager for help. If it still doesn't scan, you can pay for the item with your other non-WIC groceries or put it back. If you think the item should have scanned as WIC approved, please let us know. Use the WIC item not scanning link on the MyWIC app to submit information on the item and the store so WIC can look into the issue. Include a picture of the label and full UPC barcode. What if I lose my WIC card? If your card is lost, stolen, or damaged, let WIC know by using the WIC card is lost or stolen link on the MyWIC app, emailing WIC support at hhs.texas.gov, calling 1-800-942-3678, or contacting your WIC office. Your WIC office will get you a replacement card. Want to turn your WIC foods into great meals and snacks for your family? It's easy. Texas WIC has real recipes for real life. Visit TexasWIC.org for lots of healthy, family-friendly recipes and recipe videos. To keep your family safe, always wash hands before and after handling food. Keep cutting boards, utensils, and countertops clean and wash fresh fruits and vegetables before using them. If you would like more tips on preparing and cooking your WIC foods, ask your WIC nutritionist. When families cook together and enjoy family meals, they create memories that last a lifetime. <laughs>